Mm. I've really started to fall in love with this. Uh, I should have grabbed it as I sat down. Okay. <laughs> I just got comfortable. Okay, that's okay. Let me stop being lazy. Let me go back up, grab it, and come back down. If I'm hungry, I might pick it up, look at it, and then put it back. But I'm, I'm like low-key contemplating in my mind, should I get this or should I not? So if you struggle with that like I do, <laughs> try to eat before you go to the grocery store. Like try your best to eat like a full meal. So good morning, good morning, you guys, and happy Friday. Look, it was hard to get in here. By the way, it's back, biceps and abs. But it was hard to get in here because it's pouring down rain outside. If this is like, let's cuddle in bed and watch Netflix type of weather. So, you know, just kind of like trying to get my head in the game. Just trying, just a little bit. But we're here. You know we're going to have a great back day per usual. Um, soreness, a little bit. Still got some soreness going on in my glutes. <laughs> it's still just amazing to me why my glutes are sore when the whole purpose of leg day was for the quads to be sore. So hopefully the glutes are not too sore tomorrow because tomorrow is glute day. So glutes still a little sore, chest feels good, shoulders feel good, triceps feel good, just the glutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish getting myself together, try to get my energy right so that we can have a wonderful uh, back day. All right, you guys, I am pretty much warmed up. I feel like it don't really take that much to warm up back. Like still warm up, like I'm never just gonna start something like super heavy, but it's not as long and drawn out, I feel like, as it would be if it was chest day. Like chest takes me about 30 minutes to warm up. Legs take a good amount of time, like if I'm about to do back squats or something like that, but I don't know, warming up the back, I didn't even start my thing. I feel like it took like 15 minutes. All right, so we're gonna do face pulls to start. Like I said, I started light already, so I'm pretty much getting into my working sets. These work not only your upper back, but they also work your rear delts. So, you know, we did shoulders yesterday. We did rear delts yesterday. So I may or may not go as heavy as I typically do. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna start at uh, 40 pounds for a working set. And let's go to failure. I love the failure zone. That's my, that's my zone, right? And we'll just take it from there. And we're gonna superset with single arm rows on the other side of the cable machine. So we're gonna just bounce back and forth, working back. Now the, the rows, they do work your biceps a little bit. So we're getting two uh, muscle groups in there. Let's play some music and get into upper back. All right, here we go. Mmm. <sighs> 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 Okay. Nah. All right. Clearly I can go up. That was a little too light. We're gonna do rows. Okay, I have it on 57 and a half. Okay. That was heavy. Woo! -wee. Next side. Mm. 
I told y'all, I told y'all, back day makes me sweat. Back day makes me sweat. I'm already starting to sweat and we're only in set one. Leg day and back day. I be working up a sweat. All right, so we're gonna break for a few seconds and let's go ahead and throw abs in here. Give me a few seconds to figure out what we're doing for abs. You might as well throw that in too. All right, we're gonna do abs and core all at the same time. Add a 45 pound plate, but get a plate that you can use, that you can balance with. And we're gonna hold the plate up above us, keep it, keep our core nice and tight and engaged, and lift our legs up and down for 45 seconds. I got my timer here. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, set number two. Same thing, I raised the rate, the weights. I raised the weights. All right, here we go. Okay, all right. All right, I'm gonna leave the weight the same for the rows. All right, here we go. heavy man okay next side
Motherfucker. Jesus. Okay. All right, you guys. We got a few more seconds before we start set three. I am sweating. I don't know, is it the temperature in the gym? Like, I am really sweating. Like, before I turned this camera on, sweat was getting in my eyes. Like, I was sweating. And I was also admiring the back. <laughs> Look, we're not even done with back day, and I'm already getting hyped. And I played the, the tape back when I did the abs. You can see the muscles in my thighs and everything. Like, this shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Okay, so we got our last set here, same thing. I'm gonna increase the weight on the face pulls by one more plate. I guess I'm, I'd be thinking, I'd be thinking stuff is gonna be harder than it is. I don't know, does anyone else go through that? Like you think like, okay, I'm, I think this is a safe weight. Then you start doing, you're like, hmm, maybe I could have went up some. Maybe I could have went up some. So don't mind me, I got the TikTok live going. All right, let's get into our next set, same thing to failure, face pulls, and the rows, the single arm rows. Those are hard. Those are really fucking hard. <laughs> Those take everything out of me. All right, let me play some music and we're gonna get into it. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> Ten more seconds. Okay. All right. We're done with this. All right, you guys. Let's do some lat pull downs. So we're gonna play around, y'all can't see me. <laughs> we're gonna play around with the weight because I'm on a different cable than others. And I've really started to fall in love with this. Uh, I should have grabbed it as I sat down. Okay, <laughs> I just got comfortable. Okay, that's okay. Let me stop being lazy. Let me go back up, grab it and come back down. Ooh, knees are not warmed up. I think this is backwards, hold on. Let me uh, adjust, flip this around. I've really fallen in love with this handle. It's a wide grip, but 
you, yeah, y'all can see. See how you can grab your hands with it? I feel like it's so much better for my grip. Yeah, I love this handle. We're gonna go heavier, but we can get a few sets in at this weight. Yep. All right, yeah, I love this handle. All right, so let's go a little bit heavier here. Let's, I'm gonna take it up two stacks. All right. All right. <laughs> let's get in our working set. Let's try to get at least 10 or more to failure. Let me play some music. I really need some new music, like desperately in need of new music. I'm desperate. <laughs> All right, let's get into our first set here. Okay. All right, you guys, let's do set number two. Gang, gang, gang. We're gonna go heavier the next set. All right, you guys, I moved the weight up one. So let's see how this feels. Again, we're going to failure. Ooh, big plate. Big plate. All right, here we go. That's it. God damn. Fuck. Y'all, I'm so mad. I just did my right arm. Didn't even hit record. So y'all not gonna see that. I am not redoing that, okay? I don't give a fuck. I already did the right side. <laughs> this is the first set. We're doing bicep curls. So we're gonna give our back a little bit of a break. Then we're gonna go and do dumbbell bent over rows. So I wanted to get some biceps in here. So I already did the right side to failure. So now I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna do the left side. I cannot believe I didn't hit record. <laughs> all right, so make sure that when you do these, you extend your arm all the way out, all right? Like this. Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm. Try to get one more. Okay. Now let's sit. Talk. All right, guys, let's do set number two. Mm. Mm. 
Da. That's it. All right. All right, you guys, set number three. Biceps are gonna be done. Completely destroyed. Can y'all see me? Yeah, I guess so. That's it. All right, you guys. I already did a warm up set for dumbbell rows. I have 80 pounds here, so <laughs> we're gonna be heavy, heavy. Um, yeah. So in between this, I'm gonna walk across the gym and do leg lifts. Y'all see me do it, so there's no point in recording that, but that's what I'm gonna do in between sets. So let's get into Set number one. you guys so the leg lift the leg lift thing is taken <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and do abs here on this bench you don't need fancy equipment to get ab work done like you really don't you really don't so we're just gonna you know do what is it I don't know what it's called but we're gonna do it um, let's do 30 seconds y'all think 30 seconds I think 30 seconds is good we're just gonna do 30 seconds all right Play some music first. <laughs> We're gonna do it. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go.
Okay. Okay. Back to bent over rows. All right, you guys. Set number two. Okay. Next side. All right, you guys, so what did y'all think of today's back day? It was good, and we did some biceps. I would have liked to I always say like, one day we're gonna do two bicep movements, <laughs> and we have yet to do it. Like, I, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it, because I feel like I said this the last back and bicep day. I said we're gonna do two back, we're gonna do two bicep movements, and here it is another day, and still ain't do it. So I'm, I'm gonna leave that part out. I'm not gonna say that part no more. But we got in some abs, which is good, and we did four back movements, so I'm happy about that. We definitely got in a good workout, and y'all saw how sweaty I was when we first started. Like, I be sweating. Edges came up and everything. Like, I really be sweating on back day. <laughs> back day is intense. Not as intense as leg day. But it's very intense, okay? It's very, 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 very intense. So, you know, I feel like it was a great workout and we burned a total of 1,100 calories, period, in two hours, so not bad. Definitely reached the goal. Y'all know my calorie goal burn, calories burned goal is at least 1,000 calories. Yesterday for chest, I think we came close, but we didn't quite hit it. So, but today we did, so, <laughs> so excited. All right, so I want to talk to you guys about some of the things that I've been doing to eliminate cravings. You guys, I'm not going to lie, I've had some cravings these past few days. When I first started my cut, the first day or two, which I've told y'all, I was hungry, so I was craving everything. Then the cravings went away, and I was focused, locked in, whatever, whatever. They came back, what is today, Friday? They came back, I want to say like Wednesday night. I started craving a little bit of like uh, ice cream. Um, the next day I was craving some chips. Like what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I was having some cravings, right? Some of the things that I've done to resist the urge to snack, I want to share with you guys because... I know it can be hard to not crave foods. And I don't think you're ever gonna not crave them, especially like when you're on a cut. It's, all, it's always like about moderation, but when you're like really, really, really dedicated, sometimes, and if you know, like for me, I have addictive personality disorder. <laughs> if I find something that I like, it's like I need to have it all of the time. Like always, 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 right? But, but one thing I'm not going to do is, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to eat something, but I, I think about it long and hard before I do because 
I don't want it to be a situation where, you know, I'm craving something, I eat it, and now it's like, I need it again, and I need it again. And it's like, it's like indulging in it made it worse. Whereas if I didn't eat it, the craving would have went away. But now that I ate it and I really, really, really liked it, now it's going to be even harder to not eat it again because I really want it. So I try my best to not even go down that path. But that's what I've learned about myself. On my weight loss journey, like that's, that's what I've learned about myself. So that's why I try to avoid stuff because I already know, like if I was to get this pint of Ben & Jerry's non-dairy ice cream, there's a huge possibility that I'm going to want it again tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow every day until I get sick of it. So some of the things that I've done to not give in to temptations, to not give in to cravings. Okay, number one, I don't have it in my house. I've never been the type of person who can have treats and goodies in the fridge and just act as if it's not there. I've, I've never been able to do that. Like, never in my life. If I get something, I have to eat it. I have to eat it. Unless I'm, like, saving it for the next day because I already ate some and I'm full and I'm going to eat the rest the next day, okay. But to just have something sitting in the freezer, like ice cream or a piece of cheesecake, and just have it sit there for a week or two, I, I've never been able to do that. I've never in my life been able to do that. And again, I think it has to do with addictive personality <laughs> disorder. So because I know that about myself, I don't, I don't buy stuff that I know I shouldn't be eating. I don't get it for later. Oh, let me pick this up now and I'm going to eat this next week. That doesn't exist in my world. I can't do it. I cannot do it. So I just don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't want to see it. I act like it doesn't exist. Okay. So when I was craving ice cream the other day, I did not go and get some ice cream and just have like a couple little spoonfuls and then put it away because it's not going to be a few spoonfuls. It's going to end up being the whole pint. <laughs> it's going to end up being the whole pint. I don't know how to say no. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to do that. So I don't buy the stuff. I don't buy the treats. I don't buy any of it. My kitchen, my pantry, my fridge is full of clean food. If I'm craving something like, okay, I had the sweet tooth. So I ate some of my yogurt. The yogurt is sweet, and I've told you guys, the silk non-dairy yogurt is really, really good. It's really good, and it tastes like non-dairy, I mean, it tastes like regular yogurt, and they have different flavors. So when I do have like that taste, that need for something sweet, I'll just make me a bowl of yogurt. And that's way more forgiving than a pint of ice cream. Okay, so that's number one. The second thing to resist temptations and to not give in to the cravings is I don't go to the grocery store hungry, y'all. Like, <laughs> especially a grocery store that has a lot of vegan options, like Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods. I talk about Whole Foods all the time. Their produce has been slacking, yes. But one of the things that I really liked so much about Whole Foods is the fact that they have a lot of stuff for vegans. Like even in their fresh food section, like the stuff that they make back in the kitchen, they have lots of vegan soups. They have, their hot bar has vegan options. Their bakery has fresh vegan options. Like, and then they have a lot of vegan brands. So that's great, right? That's wonderful, that's phenomenal. If I was craving a cupcake, I know I could go to Whole Foods and get a vegan cupcake, and it's going to be the bomb. Their Oreo vegan cupcakes, so good. And their strawberry, the strawberry cupcake good too. All right, but that's the problem. <laughs> that's also the problem, because it's like, bro, like, <laughs> Can I just come in here and just get the healthy shit and not have to smell the aroma from the bakery and all of the sugar and the cookies and the cupcakes and the muffins? Like, <laughs> that's the problem. That is the problem. So I don't go in there or any grocery store hungry because when I'm hungry, I'm more likely to give in because I'm hungry and I just want to taste it and I've, I don't have the ability anymore to rationalize what I'm doing. I'm just hungry and I want to be unhungry. Okay, so I don't go in the grocery store hungry. 
I've learned that when I'm full, when my belly's full, I don't crave anything in that moment because I'm full, like I'm stuffed, right? So I can walk by treats and stuff and not even feel the urge to pick it up. If I'm hungry, I might pick it up, look at it, and then put it back. But I'm I'm like low-key contemplating in my mind, should I get this or should I not? So if you struggle with that like I do, (laughs) try to eat before you go to the grocery store. Like try your best to eat like a full meal. So like go after you eat lunch or go after you eat dinner or go after you eat breakfast. And not even just a snack. Like I get really hungry after I leave the gym. So right now, because I go to the gym so early, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Nothing's open. But when I was more of like a 9 a.m. -er, gym goer, uh, it would be hard to not stop at, you know, one of these fast food restaurants like Panera and get something on the way home from the gym, okay? Because I'm hungry. So, you know, think about that. I always keep my food in my car for after the gym. So today I have my overnight oats waiting for me when we're done. So do stuff like that. Don't be riding around the streets hungry because it's going to be that much harder to not give in. Yes, it's always mind over matter, but I'm all about let's try to make things as efficient and as easy as possible. So for me, like I said, if I'm hungry, I know I'm more likely to crave foods and then I might even give in. So I just don't like to ride the streets hungry, okay? Even if I'm, you know, doing a self-care day or whatever, I make sure I have food in my lunchbox so that I don't feel tempted to stop at places to eat, right? Because it's not even like, even if the places are healthy, like I, like I like kava, kava has vegan stuff, and I like roots, roots has vegan stuff too. It's not even that, and their foods are fresh foods, I guess. It's probably canned, but it's still like whole foods. Like it's not fried foods or, you know, it's, it's none of that. But the thing is, I don't know how many calories are really in what I'm eating. I don't really know how they're preparing the food back there. I don't know if they're putting a whole bunch of grease and oil on stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how they're cooking it. So if I'm trying to stay in my calorie deficit, I would prefer to just eat at home because I know what I put in my food. So I know that when I go onto my fitness pal, I know what the measurements are. I know that I didn't put any oil in it or I didn't put any butter. Like these are things that I know because I made it. When you go out to eat, you don't know. You don't know. And so if they're putting the rice in your bowl, do you really know how many cups of rice you're eating? I know I don't. I have no idea. I'm not that good at eyeballing. I have no idea how many cups of rice. I have no idea uh, the calories for the hummus. I don't know any of that. Okay, so that's why I prefer to eat my own food so that I can be very, very, very precise with my food log and staying in that deficit. Does that make sense? So think about that. Just, just pack some food. Like, I have my lunchbox with the ice trays, the ice packs, and my food stays cold. So, and I, I pack food that you eat cold, okay? So I don't have like a, I don't have a, a microwave. <laughs> in my car, right? I can't microwave anything. So what I pack is either to be warm, like, you know, room temperature, or it's to be eaten cold. Okay, so try those things. See if that helps. Try to find, if you do have that sweet tooth, try to find healthy alternatives. So I know, like, for ice cream, Halo, if you, if you really can't resist, like, if you really need the ice cream, there are always healthier alternatives. I personally don't like Halo, but I've heard a lot of people talk about Halo, and I know Halo does have a non-dairy. I, I haven't had it. But there are always healthier options, but still, you guys, it's still not something that you should want to eat every day. You know what I mean? Like, even if you do have the calories for it, we're still also working towards eating, more, um, eating less processed foods, eating more foods that are unprocessed you know, being more strategic with the calories that we consume. You know what I mean? Like, we want to try to get fiber in our system. We want to try to make sure we're getting protein. You know what I mean? So if you consume a lot of empty calories, it's still not necessarily healthy. Yes, you might lose weight because you're in your calorie deficit, so that's great, but we're also about uh, health, right? We're about making sure we're not deficient in anything. We're making sure that what we eat 
is good and with purpose. That's why I talk about, you know, eating quinoa. It's full of protein, right? Whereas white rice or brown rice, there's nothing in that. It's just empty calories. You know what I mean? So trying to come up with healthier ways to eat your food so they taste good and you're giving your body the nutrients that it needs, okay? So keep all of that in mind. Yes, you may be in a calorie deficit. Yes, you're going to lose weight, but it's the bigger picture here. You know what I mean? The weight loss is perfect. I want you to lose weight, but let's also think about the overall goal, which is to be healthier, right? Not just in weight loss, but with everything that you eat. And it's not like you can't eat that stuff from time to time. I'm just talking about, you know, eating it all the time because you're like, oh, well, this is only 300 calories, so I can have this every night. You could, you know, you could still be in your calorie deficit, but what is that food really doing for you or doing to you, right? So think about those things because there are plenty of people who are healthy weight and are diabetics or pre-diabetics, you know what I mean? You still have to remember these things, right? There's still, there's still, people can be healthy weight and still have high cholesterol. People can be healthy weight and still have high blood pressure, okay? So it's the overall goal. Losing weight, yes, but being healthy so that we don't have to worry about those chronic illnesses. Does that make sense? <laughs> Let me know if that makes sense. But okay, so if you wanna see what we did yesterday for chest, shoulders, and triceps, Click right here, <laughs> click right here. I am about to get in the sauna and meditate and just think about all the things I have to be grateful for, I speak affirmations to myself, and I will see you guys tomorrow, dark and early for glutes. <laughs> Bye, you guys, happy Friday.